Welcome to all you need to know before imaging this or that. In this quick video, we're going to show you some tips and tricks for how to get the best possible image for this target. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, so you're going to find M3 in the constellation of Canes Venatici. Venatici? Venatici. Venatici. <laughs> Which I think means uh, the hunting dogs, I think, yeah, uh, in Latin. Anyway, so you're gonna find M5 in there. It is located about 33,000 light years away and it is 11.4 billion years old. That's old. It's a pretty popular area of the sky because there are several other famous uh, deep sky objects around there, such as uh, the Sunflower Galaxy, which is M63, the Black Eye Galaxy, which is M64, and the Whirlpool Galaxy, which is M51. And there's also a bunch of other galaxies that are less famous uh, in the area, so it's a really great constellation uh, for galaxy lovers. Yeah, and it doesn't really lie, you know, anywhere close to those uh, galaxies. It is, uh, you know, at the southernmost tip of the constellation um, and the best time to capture it is right now in the spring. Yep. And M3 is not that popular as a target, which is a shame because this is one of the brightest, uh, most impressive and really most beautiful uh, globular clusters in the Messier catalog. It has more than 500,000 stars, which is um, pretty much the same as the more famous Hercules cluster, uh, M13. Also, it was the very first object discovered by Charles Messier himself in 1764. Wow. Pretty cool. But unlike the Hercules cluster and a lot of other objects, uh, it doesn't have a cool nickname. That's maybe why it's not so popular. Sad. Doesn't make it any less special though. But thanks to its size and magnitude of 6.2, M3 can be captured with a telescope of any size. So. It's really, really easy to capture. Yeah, very simple. You can also easily spot it with a pair of binoculars as well, as long as you're not under too much light pollution. This is M3 by the Hubble Space Telescope. As you can see here, uh, the globular cluster appears very dense with a compact core. Most stars seem to be you know, white and yellow with just a few small blue ones scattered around. The cluster lies pretty far uh, above the galactic plane of our Milky Way, which is kind of isolated from many other deep sky objects. So let's take a look at what a single shot looks like. Um, we took this with our amateur setup, and this was 60 second exposures with our one shot color camera. And it looked really good considering uh, this was taken when the moon was up, so kind of wild. Yeah, I think if you want a really clean image, uh, aim for one to two hours of exposure time on, in total on M3. Uh, preferably with no moon, of course, and uh, you should have a great result. I mean, it's a very simple target and uh, you should have a great result. Is any, any camera, any telescope and uh, just one to two hours is enough. So you can image this target with a DSLR camera or a cooled camera. And you don't need any filters because this is a great broadband target. Processing is very simple, uh, just like many other global clusters. And also, uh, we suggest exposure times from 30 seconds to 60 seconds, not more, because then you risk having some wind blowing and making your image completely messy. And uh, also, once again, as always, if you have a not so good seeing in the sky, just turn off the guiding completely and just let your mount run like 30 second exposures uh, to keep things safe. So go and capture M3, this beautiful, super duper underrated object. And hopefully we can see your image on the Galactic Forum. So uh, make a new post and show us your results. That would be great. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. We hope this video helped you get to know this target just a little bit better and helped to prepare you to image it. We would love to see your image. So go on our website and find this object on our gallery and attach your image to the comment section. We would love to see it. And by the way, online we have a bunch more tips for so many, so many objects. So go on there and check it out. So we'll catch you guys next time and clear, clear skies. skies.